So it's important for us not to say that our only two options are either the Muslim Brotherhood or a suppressed but you don't want the Muslim Egyptian Brotherhood. people. What I want is a representative government in Egypt. Now remember, these are Republican caucus voters, so they're expected to be skeptical of what the president says. But the reaction was so negative, so overwhelming. What's the problem? I don't think he has a grasp on how serious this could be. He doesn't seem to have it, he know what the details are and, and what we want and what we need as a country. He talks about making them into a republic, and he, but he, all he talks about is democracies. He doesn't know what a republic is. There's no coherent policy. I mean, you've got four people talking about four different things. They've disavowed the, the uh, former ambassador now. No one seems to know what's going on. I believe that Barack Obama's religious beliefs do govern his foreign policy. And what are his religious beliefs? I believe that he is a Muslim. You do? Oh, yes. yes. How many do you believe that here? Yes. How many believe? Wow. You believe he's a Muslim? Yes. And you think that's having an impact on what he says and does? Fundamentally, Absolutely. yes. Absolutely. Jack? Yes, I, I, I do also. Now, do you understand the implications of what you're saying here, what, what the media is going to say about this group, and about Iowa caucus voters in the future. You realize what you're opening up here? I, I think his religious belief is liberalism. He yeah, believes he in his political you, policies more than any principle of religion. I think he's Muslim sympathetic. I don't, I don't know that he's a practicing Muslim. His, uh, his religious belief is liberalism, and, you know, that's the most intolerant religion of all. There's no, there's no uh, room for wiggle in there. I do think it's quite possible he is Muslim, even though he says he is Christian. But I think that um, this um, type of rhetoric, he's waffling on both sides. But let's focus on his presidential, on what, how he communicates when it comes to foreign policy and his policies. Shouldn't we be backing the president? Isn't that the loyal no, thing to do? He is Neville Chamberlain in 1939. He is an appeaser, and he will lead us down a path to destruction if we're not careful. He gives, te he gives textbook answers. Yeah, I, think this, I think this crisis kind of snuck up on him, and he's a little unprepared <laughs> to respond to it. Sneaks up on him. He doesn't know what to do. He never knows what to do. I, th I think he, he believes that uh, America's at fault for the world's problems. I think the, 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 he yep. doesn't see the good that America does in the, in the world. Okay, I've got to hold you for one second. Sean, I want to emphasize that these are Republican caucus voters in Iowa. PBN, for news that affects America. Join us on our live show at pushbacknow.com.